What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Cop for a Wild video or Surf Fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys already know. Now in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys some insights on pompano fishing, pompano fishing tips and tricks. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys are new here and you like surf fishing and beach fishing, make sure to subscribe. I post all that. Go check out some of my videos. And also if this video helps you guys out in any way, make sure to smash that like button, drop a like on the video so this video can reach more people. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. I even have my phone right here with some information that I've been writing down during the week so that way I can give you guys some of the best pompano fishing information. It's going to help you catch more pompano. So let's go ahead and get into the first set of tips that I have for y'all and that is going to be bait. So what bait should I use whenever I'm pompano fishing? And I'll go ahead and say this, my favorite bait is going to be sand fleas. Um, I've caught the most pompano on just sand fleas on my hook. Um, than any other bait choice that I've used personally, but there's a couple of there's a variety of baits that I use for pompano fishing and that's going to be sand fleas being number one and then fish bites and peeled shrimp coming in at number two. Um, I use those connected. I use fish bites and peeled shrimp together on a little hook. Um, but that's just me. Some people use fish bites by themselves and they work just great and some people use peeled shrimp just right and that works great too. Uh, but personally me, I like to use them both on the same exact hook. I feel like they both kind of just together create something that's really, really a good bait for pompano. I've caught plenty of pompano on peeled shrimp and fish bites. So those work great too, but sand fleas are going to be my number one bait of choice for pompano. And then coming in at second is going to be fish bites and peeled shrimp. And the fish bite scent that I use whenever I'm targeting pompano is obviously going to be the sand flea, the orange and white sand flea fish bite. And I also use peeled shrimp, or not peeled shrimp, but I also use the shrimp scented fish bite as well, the pink shrimp scented fish bite. So those are going to be my baits for pompano. If you use a variety, if you use any of those baits during the pompano run, chances are you're going to catch a pompano. So being from Pensacola, Florida, we have some of the cleanest water. And there's some days where the water clarity is insane. It's like glass. You can literally see, you know, probably 10 feet down straight. The water is crystal clear. But whenever a rain comes, It'll turn, it'll, it'll literally turn the water in the Gulf of Mexico brown, like, a, like it'll almost look like river water. And whenever the water turns brown like that, chances are you're not going to catch as much pompano as you would if the water clarity is clear or if it's not as dirty. Now, you can have a little bit of, um, you know, murky water. Actually, some days that's a, that's a good thing in pompano fishing, but whenever you go out there and the water is just dirty from all the rain and storms, chances are you're going to catch a lot of those notorious nasty catfish and i know me personally i don't like fooling with those things they're fun to catch on some days but chances are on those dirty water days that's all you're going to catch is a lot of catfish and a lot of trash species so on dirty 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 condition days um extremely dirty days i tend to stay back at the house um you can catch pompano during those days but it's just it's nothing compared to the pompano fishing on a you know clear day or just you know whenever the water is just you know semi semi dirty so so the water clarity plays a big part in pompano fishing extremely extremely important tip right there another little tip is the wind direction so the wind direction plays a big part in pompano fishing on days that i had a south wind i was catching a lot more pompano on days with a north wind now i have a theory i think that whenever that south wind comes up it makes the surf rougher it stirs everything up, it gets those pompano in a feeding frenzy, and it also pushes those pompano closer towards the shore, because we all know whenever there's a south wind, it's pushing that water closer towards the shore. It's pushing it all into the shore, which is why the surf is gonna be a little rougher. So on days with a good south wind, I would say anywhere from 10 to 12 mile an hour, even, even above that, I've, I've, fished pomp I've fished for pompano on days with a 15 mile an hour south wind, and I've still caught a lot of pompano. So south wind, Try to get out there on a day with a good south wind, and I promise you, you'll probably catch a lot more pompano than you would if it was a north wind. Now, number three is going to be where to fish. Now, I get this question all the time, and I feel like it's a little bit um, just kind of over-exaggerated. I don't really think, I mean, it definitely matters where you fish on the beach whenever you're fishing for pompano. But whenever the pompano are running in the early spring, I mean, I literally have went to just random parts of the beach and limited out on pompano in, in you know, 20 to 30 minutes. I don't particularly think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it's really as important as where you fish compared to what you're fishing with and, you know, like your leader and everything else. 
But uh, obviously, I guess the biggest tip is to look for rips, look for rip currents, look for big cuts in the serve. And what I mean by cuts is you'll, you'll be looking over the serve and you'll see a big dark kind of hole. So the beach that I fish, our sandbars have a pattern. So what, what we have is we have a flat, flat bottom and then we have a rip. And we have a flat bottom and then we have a rip. And it goes like that all the way down the beach. And what I typically like to do is on this flat area, I like to get it way past the flat area towards, you know, off the beach. So I cast it way off the beach to try to get it past the first sandbar. This is the sandbar that I'm talking about. So I cast a couple baits way past that sandbar on the edge of that bar, right when the water starts to turn dark green. And then right where that drop off happens, I cast a couple on the, on the sides of that drop off. And then I'll, I'll even cast a couple inside the drop off right there. And then I'll even cast a couple baits inside the troughs as well. But typically just look for contour. Don't try not to fish in an area with just nothing going on. You want an area with a lot of stuff going on. So, you know, anything that looks different, chances are you're going to have pompano there. So, you know, if you're looking on the beach and you see a big drop off and then there's, a, and then there's another big rip coming towards the shore, just look for interesting stuff and, my, from my experience, any time that I've seen an area of beach that just looks different from all the other areas, whether it be a lot more um, big cuts in the surf and stuff like that, a lot more cuts, it's a little bit bigger cut than the other ones, chances are those areas are going to hold more pompano and they're just going to give you a better shot at catching more fish. So that's the best tip I can describe. Don't focus so much on looking for one particular thing. Just look for anything that looks out of ordinary and just look for those cuts. And uh, yeah, how far off the beach do you have to cast to catch pompano? Now this varies, you know, if you're fishing in a really shallow area with a really shallow bar that's probably about two feet deep, obviously you're gonna wanna get past that bar. But if you're fishing in an area with, you know, good water depth all the way out and you don't really have that shallow of a bar, guys, we've caught in pompano 10 to 15 to 20 yards off the beach. You don't have to sling your baits far, far out. Uh, one of my buddies, Matthew, Bama Beach Bum, he makes a good point about this in his video. Um, you know, stagger some of your rods. So cast one rod about, you know, way past the first sandbar, cast the second one, you know, 15 yards closer, cast the another one, 15 yards closer, cast the next one, 15 yards closer. You guys get the idea, stagger your rods, put each bait in a different particular area in the zone. And then whichever pole is getting those hits consistently, switch switch your baits to that zone so let's say the one that's furthest out is getting the most bites you're catching those pompano on those and your other ones haven't gotten touched well maybe reel in two of your other ones and cast those just as far as that one that's getting all the hits and see if that pays off and chances are you'll catch more pompano because you're in the zone that the fish are in that particular time all right what else do we got what else do we got i already mentioned this but rough surf rough surf i'm telling you some of my best days of pompano fishing in the early spring here in pensacola florida were on days with super super rough surf and what i mean by that is that that south wind that i was talking about some days that south wind picks up to 15 mile an hour and it makes some big big waves in the surf but those are some of the best days for pompano fishing believe it or not uh, be very careful on these days because sometimes I wade my baits out and on days like that I couldn't wade my baits out because it was just too rough and that, that water is really dangerous during that rough surf. I mean it'll literally suck you right out to the ocean so be careful on those days. Um, obviously you're going to have to step your weight size up and probably use a five ounce uh, pyramid weight but rough surf don't don't be shy you know there's days where the surf is going to be rough but those are some of the best days for popping up fishing. And obviously, use common sense. Don't go out there with, you know, 20 mile an hour south wind where, you know, it's just not fishable. I'm talking about on moderate to a little bit over moderate rough days. You know, 15 mile an hour, 14 mile an hour south winds. Those are good days for popping up fishing, believe it or not. So as far as the leaders go, all right, so I get a lot of questions about the tackle and leaders that I use for pumping up fishing. I use a double drop rig. If you guys don't know what that is, go on YouTube and type in double drop rig or pumping up rig. It's the same exact thing. Basically, it's essentially just a big one straight line and it has two hooks coming off the main line and then your pyramid weight on the very bottom. But uh, that's typically what you use for pompano. Sometimes I'll even use a single drop rig. It's actually the same exact thing. It just has one less hook. It just has the hook on the top. And uh, yeah, sometimes I'll just use a single rather than a double. 
But typically I use a double drop pumping a rig or a double drop rig. Like I said, if you guys don't know how to tie that or anything like that, just go on YouTube and type in double drop rig. So the Pompano have two migrations. They have one in the early spring and then they have one in the fall time. Now during these times, it is so much fun to fish on the beach because it's like, at least for me, whenever I was fishing for Pompano in early spring, it was this nonstop Pompano action. I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen some of my videos where I was Pompano fishing in the early spring and we were going out there and limiting out in you know, like an hour, two hours. And uh, we were quadruple hooking up on Pompano and it was just nuts. It was madness out there. And, uh, and yeah, so that's the best advice I can give you for times of year to fish. So what happens is whenever early spring comes around, start fishing your area. If you're here on the Florida Gulf Coast or even in Alabama, start fishing in the early spring. You know, start fishing in February, March, and chances are, you know, you may not catch any pompano. But what happened this year is that I follow a lot of fishing reports, a lot of fishing groups on Facebook, and there was a there was a weekend in particular that a lot of people caught a ton of pompano. And in my head, I'm like, oh yeah. The Pompano were here. And sure enough, the next days after all those reports came in, I went out and Pompano fish, and sure enough, they were here. And from about that point until about a month after that, it was just nonstop Pompano action here on the Florida Gulf Coast and Pensacola, Florida in particular. So try to locate the Pompano. Go out there in early spring, you know, start fishing for them, and whenever you start catching a lot, give it about a month after that, and it's gonna be nonstop Pompano action. And also you can catch them in the fall. So I'm really excited in the fall time to see the Pompano come back and really try to hammer and really try to catch more Pompano in the fall time as well. You can catch Pompano in the summertime, but the summertime is definitely not as good a Pompano fishing time as you know, compared to early spring or the fall time. Now there are some instances where some weeks you get really good Pompano runs. Like right now in Alabama, they're having a really good Pompano run and it's like July 20th. So, you know, that happens from time to time, but typically in the summertime, Pompano fishing slows down and you don't catch a whole lot of them. You can still target them, but chances are you're gonna catch a lot of ladyfish, hardtail, uh, probably some catfish and a lot of other species besides Pompano. But you can catch them, you just gotta put a lot more effort into them and just go out there not expecting to catch them. So, so that wraps up this Pompano fishing video, Pompano fishing tip video, guys. If you if y'all really enjoyed this video and you want me to make more tips and tricks and you know just give y'all information about a specific type of fishery, let me know in the comment sections. I want to know. But anyways, I hope this Pompano fishing video really helped you guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button, drop a like on the video. It really helps this video reach more people that are searching for this particular information online. And also, if you like surf fishing, if you like pompano fishing, go check out some of my uh, recent videos. I have a ton of videos from early springtime that I was just catching a lot of pompano. So if, you, if that interests you, make sure to check out those videos and subscribe if you like surf fishing and beach fishing. And until next time, guys, I'll see y'all in another episode of Fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys already know it.